G'day mate and welcome back to Capri Industry with me, Judy. I feel like it's been a massive gap between last episode and this episode, and it's for a number of reasons. The biggest one being, well, as we're on the crater map, the upside down map, rather having a big peak at the top that I need to dig out while I have a big hole at the bottom uh, that I need to dig into. And as I had a chance, a chance to uh, tour Azalea's Ideal Black's wonderful map, wonderful island, wonderful unique island, where although my crater map tops out at negative 80 at the bottom, his is much deeper much 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 deeper uh, i'm gonna actually link the video down in the description be in the pinned comment below i recommend after you finish watching this video if you've missed it go check out that video because it goes a long way to answering the ultimate question of how deep can you dig because he's been digging he's been digging for a very 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 long time anyway we didn't talk about today's episode today's episode and last episode in our last episode we did a few things just a few minor minor things we one uh made sure that our rock our rock that we're digging out from the inside of the crater is making it a little bit closer to the places where we're dumping it. Just trying to optimize the truck flow a little bit, using our belts as wherever possible, just to move things a little bit further along to keep up with the um, the digging speed to match the dumping speed. On top of that, we dealt with a couple of uh, loose ends, a couple of loose pipes that we had to deal with to, um, well, get the rest of the services up and running for the town. The other thing we did, very, very important thing, was um, we tracked down Schrodinger's pipe, Schrodinger's magic pipe, that may or may not have water in it at any time. It was a very important pipe. It was a very important pipe to make sure that it didn't ever backlog, because if it did, um, well, we'd back up with poop for the new town, the new town inside the crater. Because as we're reaching and approaching year 600, I really, really want to get at least one of our goals done. Yeah, we, we're planning on building a rocket and launching a rocket, doing all sorts of things. But one of the goals, one of the important goals I want to have done is I want to make sure that we move as much as we can, preferably everything, probably not farms, probably not farms, probably not oil. Probably those two the things we're, we're going to leave outside the crater. But everything else, I want to move into the crater. And that is going to be uh, today's goal. Today's goal is going to be moving everything into the crater. But before we get into today's goal and today's plan, I need to ask a very important question. Very, very important question. And that is, of course, can I borrow a like? I'd just like to borrow a like early in the video. Not happy with the video, didn't enjoy the video. Well, by all means, you can grab your like back. I've left it at the bottom of Zellius Ideal's map. You can go for a walk. He's got no trucks available. Sorry, um, you, you're going to have to walk down to pick it up. But with that out of the way, Let's get into uh, today's chaos. As always, at the start of every episode, I like to thank those that go above and beyond, those that choose to support the channel, those that um, well, keep the dream alive. And today, I need to thank a wonderful Patreon member, a wonderful Patreon member who is choosing to support the channel over at Patreon. I need to thank Stop Pop Up, which. Although, although you'd like the pop-ups to stop, I can't stop this pop-up right here. This pop-up right here that tells you the wonderful link for Patreon. Also, I can't stop. It's just not possible. It's not possible at all to stop this pop-up right here that reminds you that you should probably click subscribe because you're watching a Let's Play, a Let's Play which is in episode 49. And if you haven't clicked subscribe by now, you probably should. You probably should. It, it's well past you. Uh, so stop pop-up is heading over to be upgraded to be a Mega Excavator. He is gonna be one of our last upgrades because, well, we have um 42 Mega Diggies. We've got 84 Mega Truckies. We've got three Little Diggy Boys left. When I say Little Diggy Boys, technically they're Medium Diggy Boys, but let's be honest, they don't dig fast enough. They don't dig nearly fast enough. So Stop Pop-Up is uh, one of our two miners that are doing both sand and quartz, and he did, he's heading over here to get his upgrade. Now, we need to prioritize his replacement uh, after he's finished popping up the garage door and driving in. Uh, we're gonna put the garage door back down. He needs some privacy to get changed, understandable. Uh, and then he's gonna pop it back up again, and we're gonna set up his new miner to prioritize sand because it's going to be important that I have one of the two of them doing sand and the other doing quartz. Just because it's a mixed patch, I've found it's generally easier if you keep the sand flowing whilst you're processing the quartz. As we can see here, my quartz bucket's nearly empty. And if these guys don't keep some sort of mixed match priority going, um, what ends up happening is I end up having to process all the quartz first, which in theory we can process 144 per minute, but um, it takes a little while to get this system kicked back up so i'd prefer it if we had a bit of 50 50 uh, both sand and quartz and processing them both at the same time we are going to upgrade the two truckies the two truckies belonging to this tower as well but after we're done we're going to keep our last excavator our last little excavator our last little uh medium excavator normal size excavator we're going to keep him as a medium just in case i have um some sort of task that require more of a scalpel and less of a sledgehammer yeah yeah so um we're going to keep this guy 
we still have some num number of trucks and other things we need to do but um yeah we're gonna keep one one just one just one just need a spare all right today's episode i want to do a couple of things first thing i want to do is uh i need to talk about some belts so in our last episode i said that we'd use uh the poor man's balance the poor man's balance being the connector I decided between episodes I was going to put in a real balance. I want to put in a real balance so I could actually add a priority to the belt so I could make sure that this bucket over here, this one that says uh, invalid route, because, um, well, in theory, we're meant to be putting things into the bucket, but I've turned off putting things into the bucket. Yeah, go away. Uh, I wanted to make sure that this bucket had the priority because I have used a belt again to move the material a little bit further along to have one dedicated dump truck uh, going and filling out this area. I'm going to try and get this all connected up as soon as possible. And I'm actually thinking I'm going to widen this out to four tiles. If it's four tiles, I have enough room to run the belt and the bucket. And I'm thinking we're going to chain some buckets along via belts just to keep this flow as high speed as possible. Because this is one of my last projects. One of my last projects to, to really get this area filled in, squared in. And then, well, mass dump it with a whole lot of rock, but then I want to put dirt on top. I want to have a whole lot of farmland over here, but there's a small amount of projects that need to be done before we get that done. Like, you know, having less water in the places where I'd like to put farms. On top of that, the game has had a couple of updates. So you may notice I'm stable. I am completely stable. I actually have idle trucks, so we need to fix that. Uh, one of the things I want to do is go to the inner team uh, and give them uh, four trucks. Yeah, they can have four trucks to dig out this area. Uh, but as for the rimming team, the very, very important rimming team, uh, they definitely get five trucks. Definitely get five. We have 15 to 22 compared to uh, 10 to 16. It seems an all right ratio. Um, in theory, they're dumping to a bucket right here. And as long as this bucket doesn't end up too full, we should be good. Uh, the dirt is a whole separate problem. That's getting dumped there and it's still being driven out manually. Yeah, we're just going to skip that problem for now. All right, uh, so that's one thing I want to do. Uh, second thing I want to do is I want to re-enable the research. We have 555 uh, Electronics 3, and uh, this box is full, which means maintenance should keep running. So I want to enable said belt and also enable one of our labs. Now, we're going to make uh, six lab equipment, four, 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 uh, per minute, and we're only going to use four of them. So this will get a, give this a chance to have the belt back up and hopefully have these buffer up uh, before we turn on more of them. Because yes, I really, really want to move um, all the people into the creator today's episode, which means I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to take a moment for you to place your bets. Place your bets down in the comment section below. Because previously we moved the town. We moved the wonderful town. It was up here where we went and build oil and we moved it down here. And I cheated. I cheated just a little bit. I paused the game. And when I paused the game, I paused all the housing from the old one, all the services, everything, just stopped everything. Like time froze, because time did freeze. And then I went to the new town, I enabled everything. This time around, we're not gonna pause it. I want high risk, high reward. We're not gonna pause it. We're gonna go full in, no pauses whatsoever. So uh, leave your comment, comment right down below, you know, place your bet, place your bet now before I've actually gone in and gone and, you know, played around and started doing things, place your bet below. On a scale of one to chaos, how well is this gonna go? All right, next thing I need to do is uh, our depleted uranium. Our depleted uranium, uh, the bucket's full. So I need to add another bucket for depleted uranium and start storing that up. We can dump that in the sea. We might dump that in the sea. We might also save it for a future nuclear reactor. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, one other thing I needed to do was... Oh, uh, I also put a balancer in here to make sure we could prioritize material back this way to run into our second bucket all the way over here to make sure this is getting dumped as fast as possible. This is another area I really, really want to have filled in as quickly as possible because I'd really like to put more farmland. I say farmland, it's forest land. More forest land out here. I'd like to put more forestry out here. Uh, also, this needs to be done so we can build this part along here so we can get this joined up so I can fill in all this area. Yeah, uh, so I added a second balancer in there. I also twiddled and fiddled with some of the belts and pipes in here, um, like our exhaust from our boiler now runs into, well, this filtering system, which we're gonna eventually get a new recipe for. Uh, speaking of new recipes, which means new research, I wanna get this recipe. Uh, this one will let us turn carbon dioxide, just waste material, waste gas, straight into graphite. 
which I'd like to have up and running yesterday. Yeah, because at the moment we have one machine. Yeah, uh, which is making graphite from coal and chlorine, but uh, also giving me sour water, which is fine. We're importing sour water, but it means um, this chlorine guy is running two things. It's running, well, the town. It's also running that one building. If I didn't need that here, I could definitely remove one building. I don't mind removing one building. All right, uh, ship engine number three is done. Mr. Shippy Shippy has been upgraded. He has a bigger, better engine. We're researching ship weapons for him now, and I am not at all procrastinating going and enabling the new town. Yes, uh, what else do I have to do? I think that was it. Yes. Okay, uh, so our plan is to move people in the new town which means I need to have some basic services up and running, okay? So, uh, we need to obviously enable the poop. We obviously need to enable power. We probably need to give them food as well. Uh, so we're gonna enable potatoes, because potatoes. Uh, we also need to enable a poop building uh, with two of these guys, because that's required to, you know, process the sludge, yep. Also need to enable a trash building, a electrolyzer, and also the D cells with the exhaust building. Yeah, I thought that would happen. Not enough workers. It's fine. All right. Next thing I need to do is because because I'm going to have to pause buildings or pause housing and re-enable housing. I need to turn on growth pause. I need to not have any more people move in during this critical process. Very very critical process. You already have trash you processing. I don't know how you have trash you processing, but you have trash you processing. All right. So our plan is going to be unpause one, two, three, four, five, six. That is, all the services across the front are now hooked in. We probably should also build, build medical. We'll come back to medical. Okay, uh, next thing we need to do is we need to go to the old town. I need to start booting people out. So, uh, we're going to pause buildings, yes. With the delete button. Yeah. Uh, how many do you have? You have occupants. All of them. How many do you have? I feel like I've got 390 people. <laughs> We can move more people across. Uh, we're going to delete that one and that one and that one and that one. Uh, all the towns need to be connected. So you can't just randomly delete people and houses. They get grumpy. Uh, you have waste and settlement. Oh, yeah. We probably should unpause that building as well. Cool. Waste and settlement. Uh, we have a thousand people here out of 1300. So we can probably enable a new few. Uh, enable, enable. Enable a few more to go away violently. Uh, I can't delete that because that's hooked into that service. Well, let's unhook it from that service. Oh, problem solved. Uh, that should be close to max. Oh, no, we can do another one. Uh, can I remove that one? That's a little one. Cool. Uh, so that should move some of the people down. Now, we have a low food warning, uh, probably because they're running off one food market. That's probably got something to do with it. So we need to enable another food market or two. Uh, also, because trucks are stupid. Off, 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 and off. Okay. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. All right. So uh, up here, I don't need to handle... Uh, you guys don't need meat or bread or sausages. Uh... Okay, uh, you don't need that building. Oh, no, no, housing. Oh, that's right. I had to unpause buildings at the same time. Unpause, 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 unpause. Oh, I should also mention, once we're in the middle of this process, very important process that we shouldn't pause through. Uh, in my last episode, I asked you, I asked you in the comment section below, which should we put in in this area for a decoration? Should we put in a square light or a square dark? And you guys had some wonderful comments. Wonderful comments and wonderful suggestions. And... It was, it was hard. It was very, very hard. A lot of people said dark. A lot of people said light. It was very, very even right across the board, which I sort of expected it to be. It was great for engagement. By the way, this video, you know, I've already asked you to place a bet on how well this is going to work. If you haven't already let it, left a comment, could you do me a favor? Could you just, you know, if you wish to be a lurker, you don't like leaving comments, just copy an emoji. We have some emojis right here in the title of the video. Just, just copy one of those. Copy one of those, whack them down in the comment section very below. Very, very much helps out the video, helps out the engagement factor. Feeds the good old algorithm. So I asked people, I asked people, which one are we going to do? We're going to do light or dark. And very good comments both ways. But 
some people had some points. And it was a number of people, a number of people came up with this idea that if this is light and this is dark, then obviously this should be light and this should be dark. So they're diagonally opposite, which I like the idea of. Also, entirely separate people had entirely different reasoning that this should be light because this should be dark because coal's right there. Chance are the town's gonna end up on coal. So we're gonna put a square light in there. Just needed to throw that in whilst we're at it. Uh, so we have room for, what's that, like 900 people? 900 people. Uh, you hold 130, so you can go away, you can go away. Uh, you don't need that food. You don't need trash services. You don't need trash services. You've got a bit of room in the housing for trash. That's 230 people. You don't need potatoes anymore. Seven has no food market. Oh, that, that, that's actually a problem. What? Oh, it's connected to services. All right, fine, we'll delete those services. We'll delete those services, no services, those services, those services, those services. Uh, we'll delete those trash buckets. Delete that one. Not enough, overcrowded, cool. Uh, can I unpause you, 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 and you? Zero months worth of food. Oh, people are starving. They'll be fine. Look, not a single person's died off yet. Uh, remove, remove, uh, remove poop processing. Uh, our people are now dying. Perfect. It went well. Uh, remove that one. You have that, that, that can all go away. That can go away. That can go away. There you go. There we go. Everybody's been moved down. It went swimmingly. Starvation. Yeah, swimmingly. Swimmingly. Uh, can we enable these food buildings? Cool. 16 months, 20, 31 months. 31 months of food and... Oh, no, starvation went away. Uh, oh, so did the flu. Perfect timing. All right, uh, so we have a few missing workers. That's okay. We're just going to turn on this real quick and that'll probably solve that problem. Uh, all right, so now with that gone, what can we remove here? Uh, we definitely don't have biomass anymore. That can go away. Uh, we probably need to turn you on and you on for exports. Also you on for exports, which also means I probably want to get rid of that bucket, that bucket. We don't need them there anymore. Uh, we need to, these are all on for export. Uh, we don't need recycling here anymore. Mm, I do want that to exist, please. Cool. Uh, I don't need the recycling building anymore, so that can go away. Uh, as can that very long belt. Uh, we don't need trash processing, so that should be able to go away. And all those connected pipes, and that belt, and that bucket. Uh, that is food. We probably will need to keep that. That's some medical stuff. That can go away. That's fuel gas going to nowhere. Uh, that can go away too. Uh, you, I need to have an alert. Notify me when empty. And then we can delete that and those two statues. We can remove poop, pro poop, poop processing. Yep, that can all go away. Uh, we don't need this anymore. I'm hoping we have somewhere to dump gravel. Uh, I need to set an alert on you, notify when empty so I can delete you as well. There's no point moving to the shipyard to then the trucks have to bring it back from the shipyard. We might just, just leave it, you know, in the bucket, then we'll just remove the bucket later. Uh, we can remove all that. Uh, that chlorine pipe can go away. That can go away. That's a water pipe that we might need. Uh, invalid route. This one, I don't care. Yeah, I, I really don't care. Uh, you are marked for deconstruction. You are, you're marked for deconstruction. Okay, so that's cleared out all that stuff. Uh, it's just given us a good amount of room here, but as we're already on a bit of a delete binge, I want to continue that. And I'd like to delete uh, that power plant. So we have a nuclear reactor now. In fact, we have two nuclear reactors. So I can't see us using a old cold fire power plant anytime soon. Uh, also, that's the water pipe that I said I might need. I think I can probably live without it. Uh, I don't need to have that sulfur bucket anymore from the exhaust processing because we're not doing exhaust processing anymore. I can remove all that, and I think I can remove all that. Now, it does leave me one problem, uh, and that is this belt right here. This belt right here is technically the coal input for that blast furnace. 
which I sort of need to keep hanging around. Uh, so we're going to put in a bucket here. And we're just going to run a bucket there to there. And you're going to be coal, please. And build. Oh, no uni whatsoever. Surprise, surprise. Uh, can I turn off vehicle fuel saver and recycling? Just for a little while. Just, just turn it off entirely. That should raise the uni count a little bit. Uh, can I copy... Uh, where's another coal bucket? Coal buckets! Yeah, can I copy your inputs uh, to that bucket? Oh, uh, quick deliver 1.3. Alright, so that should fix that bucket up. Uh, does mean that I can get rid of that belt. Uh, Scrooge McJD has no designations. No, not the gold mining. Uh, okay, so these guys, I need to move them down the hill. I need to move them in here and I need to start digging this way. The catch is, um, well, all these pipes and stuff are in the way. Also, their own dump bucket. So, we're going to, for the moment, have them uh, angle into the ground and just nosedive in right about here. And then we're going to forget to change them. And what's going to happen is eventually they're going to dig deep enough that they're going to knock over these belts. And then we'll get around to fixing them. Last first needs to transport to exhaust. I know, I was talking about that. Uh, so you do need an exhaust because you were hooked up to the scrubber that I removed. So that should fix that problem. Uh, you need to go away, as do you. And that is a... Oh, oh. That one too. That is a lot more area to play and do things. Yes. I, I like that. I like that. I like that we can clean up. We can do a bit of a clean up. Uh, that bridge can also go away. Uh, yep. Now, I have put uh, gone and made myself a brand new problem. Uh, don't care about that one. It just needs to be deleted. Uh, that is that the poor little trucks need to deliver all the food down here via truckiness. Uh, which is a problematic, uh, as we don't have that many little trucks. Um, well, I, we do. We do. We do have, uh, 33 of them available. Yep. Uh, but that's not that many when we need to move a whole lot of food down here. So, oh, uh, that's recycling. Ah, oh, we don't need recycling. That's biomass. That we might need. Oh, I should check poop. Uh, poop is filling up. Okay, we are producing 201 poop. So I need to unpause that one and unpause that one, unpause that one. That should solve our poop processing problem. Uh, and also waste. Waste. We are producing 133. Uh, we can consume 144 in one of these guys, but I also don't have biomass running, which I'd prefer to have running because it's going to give me more compost. Yes. So, uh, car, biomass. Biomass, I've got a couple of options. My best option is a mixer. A mixer mark two, which will convert uh, 24 biomass into 16 compost. And hopefully you can go right there and then I can get you a friend. Crap. Uh, you need to go there instead. Uh, yep. And then you need to connect into that one. Can't have two connectors beside a connector. Then I need to work out how the hell I get a belt in there uh, from here. Uh, and I think the answer is we move the poop, uh, the poop trash belt over a tile. Yep. Uh, build that. Disconnect that right there. And then I should be able to take my biomass out of there. And then disconnect that end. And then hopefully uh, bring this to here, to there, to there. Come on. Into that building and into that building. Perfect. All right, so we worked out how to build it together. Uh, I've got no buffer box, so hopefully it never fills up and i need to at least have one of you guys running and we need to look up biomass town is producing oh 24 25 and we can consume 24. and i have no bucket to have an indication when you're full 
Okay, we'll just build the other one as well. Fine. But that'll, that should solve our biomass. Our wastewater has gone down. Uh, that's much better. We have bless all uni because I burnt most of it. Uh, you guys are all running. Fuel gas is running. Uh, you need that running in case we end up with too much, too much water. Our Schrodinger's pipe is pumping water back into here, which should have a priority in from you guys. That's now been fixed. Um, so water should flow there first. If it can't flow there, it should flow here and go into Schrodinger's pipe network, which will go everywhere. And then if all else fails, it should go into the boiler, which I did change the boiler, like I mentioned, and I ran the CO2 into this building. So hopefully we can get the research where we can just turn our CO2 back into graphite. So it actually becomes a useful item. All right, medical. We don't have medical. As we have our air pollution of nine, and when they get the flu, it starts off at potentially around about 15. Also, I get a small uni boost. I think we're gonna get a hospital up and running. Uh, I think that's not a bad idea. Unfortunately, it's going to be medical supplies number one, because I don't have medical supplies two up and running. But some medical is better than no medical. Also, I'm willing to bet that this box is reasonably... Yeah, it's reasonably full. It's reasonably full. I can't argue with how full it is. So we're going to say, yes, it's medical. All right. So we're still taking corn up there for medical. You are not really being emptied. You guys are also not really being emptied. The water's not really being emptied, but somebody will get around to it eventually. Oh, it's a tree planter. What the hell are you doing down here? All right, whatever. Uh, you and you are both available for export now, as are you. So veggies can be shipped down. These are all available. So, trucking problem. I now require a lot of trucks to bring a lot of food down here. Uh, as you can see, we're already out of sausages, which is just because we don't make them. Yes. Uh, truck cannot reach what destination? I've got a suggestion. Don't visit the bucket that is around and surrounded in pipes. That's my suggestion. Uh, how about you delete the fuel gas? Oh my God. Uh, how about we delete the chlorine because nobody cares. Uh, we're gonna delete the one piece of wheat. Uh, waste processed, um, oh, I can't, what? Oh, that sucks. Uh, can I delete sludge? I can delete sludge. Manufactured sand, can I delete that? Okay. So I need to get rid of waste processed. That's annoying. Uh, construction parts, concrete slabs, everything else can stay. Well, that'll get processed in good time. All right. Uh, so I need to have a waste management, a shredder to do that. And that is, how, please tell me it's 24 in there exactly. There's 13. You process in batches of four. How do I end up with 13 if you process in batches of four? How? Uh, whilst we're at it, I need to move the limestone tower because I'm pretty sure he's pretty built in at this stage. Uh, can I remove that, please? Uh, problem is I need to... Well, first off, I need to definitely decide where I'm going to put it, which I think is going to be... If I put a heart up against the bridge, it's probably not going to be in the way, I hope. Uh, we're going to edit area. We're going to put you here. Uh, we're going to build you, obviously. I need to grab two excavators, being you and you and put you and you here. I also need to hopefully remove those two trucks and get the exact same two trucks back. Well, I had a 50% chance, 50% success rate, so I'll take it. All right, uh, which means this tower can go away. Uh, hopefully you get some trash delivered. Hopefully, priority three. 13 trash. Somebody pick up 13 trash. Please somebody pick up 13 trash. 13 trash. Okay. Cool. 
it's a cool truck. I don't know, I don't know if I have somebody I can yell at and blame. I still don't know how we end up with 13 of it. Like, unless the compactor is a different speed. Uh, waste management. Uh, compactor is... It processes in batches of two. And the shredder processes in batches of four. So how does one end up with an odd number? At all. And why do they process at different speeds? I've turned off the N60. You know, it's, it's if, if you want to fully delete a material, you need to look at the, the normal ratio, the normal recipe. Okay, so you have nine, and then you have five, and then you have one, and you have one. And if I delete you, and then we use uni, so you magically disappeared, and I have one waste processed in the shipyard. One! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's not fine. Do you... You process in 16th. So there's not even an odd recipe anywhere along the line. Okay, I got no idea how it happened. The, the, the... Leave your rage in the comments. Because I'm going to be leaving my rage everywhere when this episode's done. All right. Uh, so we have the clinic moved down as well. We have a problem with trucks having to transport things. Way too many things. Um, which, oh, also I need to hook up recyclables. Let's do that before I forget again again. All right. I need to hook up recyclables. I think we're going to go with the biggest style of bridges. And I think we're going to go here. Very confident I am. Uh, I need to grab a tier two belt uh, to come out of the recycling building straight through that gap it turns out uh and then to here which we need to raise the belt to height two yes and then i need to get back to ground level after going over that pipe uh and fed into there uh cool that is definitely not gonna happen all right we're gonna go to height two here we're gonna go to height three to get over that pipe we're gonna come back to height Ooh, yep. Yeah. Height zero. And then I'm gonna crap. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Height. One. Height two to go over this pipe. Uh and then height. So I can get down to ground level. Okay. Uh, you can just live there for one minute. Alright, what I need to do is I need to come under here and then go to the right. Like, right here. Literally right here. Uh, so... Concrete. Uh, you need to go over a tile. I know, I know how you feel about it, concrete. Uh, but you just need to accept it and you need to go over a tile. Uh, because you're in my way. Uh, let's put you there. Alright, can I get that deleted? Okay, which then brings me to iron, which also needs to go over a tile. So here, then you need to come up to height one and then join into, well, this iron belt after you've moved over a tile. Cool. And then steel needs to also go over a tile. Cool. Uh, and then I have to hope that is enough room to get this belt down to ground level, under here, and into there. It is! Perfect. All right. I may have broken everything else, but we'll fix those one at a time. Okay. So you... No. You plug into that belt, and then into there. You plug into that belt, and then there. And you plug into that belt, and there. And we just accept that there's this little bit of a zigzag. All these connectors should disappear. They do. And we should have our recycling plugged in. Now, we don't make that much recycling because we don't have feed the town any of these things they'd like, uh, like glass rocking chairs or household appliances or anything like that. Uh, we're not that generous yet. I need to change that. The other thing I need to do is I need to run my recycling belt, which now needs to run this way and into that build. 
and then we need to upgrade that belt to a Mark II, so you can run at 200 as well, which should run all our recycling this way and into this uh, into the bucket and then through our recycling center. So that should be unchanged. We just need to make sure the town's plugged in. All right, so we have town services. I have food. We don't get the full uni bonus because we're not providing glass rocking chairs. It's a problem. Uh, we have the electricity, we have the water, we have the household goods, we have the hospitals. What little we get from the hospitals because T1 Medical, in saying that, we have the food currently. Of course we do, of course we do. Uh, priority 15, priority nine, please. Yeah, uh, but we're doing all right for it. Disease eight. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Healthcare's like 15. We're fine. We're fine. We can even uh, afford to add more pollution. All right. So, Eisenford, what can't you, what? What, where, where, huh? No. No, Eisenford, no, no. All right, so we got our medical, we got everything plugged in. We just finished the research for ship weapons, which definitely means that uh, you, sir, need to have bigger and better guns, which is a whole lot of steel, a whole lot of mechanical parts, a whole lot of electronics. Um, we should be able to get that added to the ship reasonably quickly. We have cleared a bunch of space that hopefully things will disappear in time as they empty. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of space. All right. I do have the problem of trucks are now doing analytics. Uh, last three months. Turn that off and turn that off. Uh, actually, not that many deliveries. Hang on. Does this mean all the food buckets are empty? Yes, all the food buckets are empty. They're not doing many deliveries, but that's the problem. The food buckets are getting empty. Uh, we're not shipping food down fast enough. Uh, you are... Export on. Export on. That would probably help. Export on. Uh, export on, export on, export on. So why is there no bread? Bread, probably... Oh, bre there is bread. There is meat, there is meat. Uh, sorry, meat. There's no sausage, there's eggs, there's vegetables. Okay, so it's just these two. All right, so we have food. Food, food is okay. It's just requiring a lot of trucking power, which means I need to, uh, very, very shortly, we need to make some decisions. We need to make some decisions. Um, I can either bring down a couple of belts, probably three belts, maybe four, and try and do all the food processing in the crater, which I have a little bit of room here, but it does mean that the captain's office is probably gonna have to move and I probably need to turn that back on. I probably need to turn that back on as well. I could possibly dig another tile off this. Actually, no, I want to dig two tiles. I want to dig this, please, without you having any, any issues with any foundations and you breaking any houses, please. Because if I get two tiles through here, it means trucks can path up and down the side of this, which I would very, very much like. Uh, you're doing... Oh, can I get one of you prioritized to rock, please? And the other one to limestone. Yes. Uh, also, which pillar? Ah, it's probably okay. It's probably okay. Uh, also, I needed to... Uh, stop pop-up is on sand, so you're on quartz. Cool. I need to do that. And the quartz bucket is full. Perfect. All right. Um, yes, I need to either bring probably three or four belts, three or four belts worth of food down here and attempt to process it all in the crater. Or, as we're now missing a town, and we already have the food belt right here, we need to upgrade food for the town in a substantial way. Yes. Um, so that's our other option. Yep. Um which I'm starting to prefer, prefer the idea of, because there is a decent amount of room over here. Can we just go away? I have full confidence. I have full confidence that I measured this out. This is six tiles. You shouldn't get, un oh, you're gonna get undermined because you're on dirt. My measurements are on rock. Yeah, this tile should be free, but if I change you to a fill tile, we can see that you have a few problems because I did my measurements assuming it was rock all the way up because for every five tiles, you generally lose, for every five, five tiles of depth, you generally lose one tile worth of uh, height in designations. Actually, we can attempt to save you by retaining wall. Can I get a retaining wall? You've just got to stick out of the ground the slightest amount. You've just got to hold the dirt back. Build. 
Out one. Yeah. Well. <sighs> Can I connect to that and to that? There you go. Problem solved. Problem solved. We're just going to move the supports to a slightly different spot. Oh. Uh, high supply of rock. Uh, why? Uh, probably because I stole too many trucks. Uh, probably because there's... Why is nobody... What? Huh? You. Uh, doing that area. You. Are doing that? Who's doing this square? You are doing this square. You're doing that square. Oh, okay, so we've got too much overlap on some of these squares. Uh, edit area there to there. Edit area there to there. There we go, solved. All right. Uh, yeah, okay, you probably need more friends to help. Uh, inner, how are you doing? Not well. All right, we've got a five trucks. We've got a five truck limit. We're going to add five trucks in the next episode. All right, as I was saying, I need to run uh, either mini belts down and try and do food processing here, but... Huh? How do you cause a cave-in under a building when you... Yeah, you have an alert. 75%. You have an alert. 75%. That way you don't flash at me anymore. Right, I'm pretty confident you're not going to knock that over. Uh, our ship modifications are complete. All right, so we can send Mr. Shippy Shippy out in the next episode. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident we're going to end up doing our food processing here. It's a lot of free space. And I think that's going to be a better idea than trying to drag things in the crater. But now that town has moved in, uh, not many people died. That's the important thing. It does mean in the next episode, we can continue to expand. We can finally get to household goods and household appliances. We can possibly also look at medical supplies, depending on how well... Um, the filling goes, which is sort of depending on how well the trucks actually get stuff done. So far, they're not getting stuff done terribly well because they're trying to knock this over. Please stop it. Please stop it. Um, do I have a spare tower? I have one of these towers going to be spare. Right, right, right. Yes. Okay, cool. Better area. Problem solved. All right. Uh, but none of that is as worse as, or as horrible as, uh, the fact that now I have one. One pressed waste in storage that I cannot delete forever. Anyway, I need to leave this episode here and my frustrations, and I need to take them outside and go scream at the sky. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we have more fiddling, more tweaking, more uh, things that we need to manage and do, uh, along with, well, fill in a giant side of the crater. There's, there's still a lot more to do, but I need to leave it here. As always, thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the very next episode. All right, bye.